Hi guys, happy Saturday. This is Davy Blessings uh, devotion for you today. I want to talk about God didn't bring you this far to leave you. God is grateful. God is still good in this season. And God won't put no more on us than we are able to bear. The Bible says, They they slay me, yet will I trust in the Lord. And I'm coming from Psalm 23 again today. Bear with me. The Lord, Psalms 23. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup running over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever and i want to talk about this scripture that touched my heart today the troubles of my heart are enlarged oh bring thou me out of my distress Psalms 25 and 17. these are good scriptures to read in the book of psalms when you are going through and they have scriptures and sons when you are feeling distressed. And I want to read that again. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distress. Look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. That's Psalms 25, 17, and 18, and Psalms 23. They've been lifting me up this morning and i want to encourage you god didn't bring you this far to leave you others may turn your back when you when you're weak and low pick up your bible and draw strength and comfort that's peace strength and comfort in the word of god i've been down sometimes and lately i've been feeling hurt and feeling by myself and i know i'm not by myself that just be sometimes the negative talk, I guess. But I know I'm not by myself. I have the word of God to comfort me. Um, not feeling down and out. You can't go to, to Facebook. You can't go to Instagram. You can't sometimes, you can't go to your friends. And sometimes other friends, they'll turn your back on you. Family will turn your back on you. You have to go to God in prayer. And go to God and his word, his daily word will lift you up. The Bible said, humble yourself in the mighty hand of God and do season. He will lift you up. So I want to encourage someone on today. Pick yourself back up again. I've been down sometimes. I have to pick myself up today. And my testimony today, I woke up this morning. I told the Lord, Thank you, Lord, for getting me up when I am down. Thank you, Lord, for letting me see another day. Thank you, Lord, for re renewing my strength every day when I'm weak, when I feel in strength. My strength is low. When my, my body is low, I have to build myself back up with the word of God. And I told the Lord, I am grateful for my life, my health and strength. And I said, Lord, I thank you for blessing me and keeping me covered from my enemies. Yeah, I, I feel hurt. People turn their backs on me, not talking to me, not calling me. You know what? I go to God. I've been in his word. I've been reading Psalms from the beginning, and I'm going to read it to the end. That's my challenge for the next few weeks. I'm reading. I'm getting up praying praying and crying out to God and reading the books of Psalms. Then when I'm done, I'm going to try to finish re reading up 
book of um, Proverbs or listen to it on my phone, MP3. I have it on my phone. Um, I'm going to listen to Proverbs. And Psalms and Proverbs is very encouraging when you're going through some things in your body. And um, listen to good music, um, Christian music, whatever you like to listen to, to get you through the day. To build your self-esteem. To build your confidence up in God. And I was listening to yesterday by Jay Smooth. God is still in control. God is still in charge. That is a good old gospel song. I cried to that song yesterday. That God is still in, in charge of our life. So we have to keep picking ourselves back up when we feeling low. We got to ask God to keep lifting us up. And I keep thanking God. I thank the Lord that he don't never let me stay down how I'm feeling. Don't nobody understand what you are going through but you and God. People just look at you, but you have to get get yourself back up again. When you falling down, get back up again. We fall down, but we get back up again. They did Jesus wrong, but guess what? He gets up every day, and he gets me up. He gets you up. We got to keep fighting a good fight of faith to stand strong in God's word. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When I get up in the morning, I say, thank you, Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength every day. Every day, the joy of the Lord is in my strength. I say, God, I'm, I'm feeling some type of way this, today. I say, Lord, help me to get through. Lord, help me to make it. That's why I be saying every day. When I'm feeling sick, when I'm feeling down, I say, Lord, help me to make it. Lord, help me get me through this day. Get me through this week. And God, Jesus is our rock. We got to go to him and go into the word of God for ourselves. And I be down sometimes, but I like to encourage others because when I'm down, I lift others up, encourage others as well. It helps me to encourage you or others that is down. And I pray for those that hurt me, like Joseph and Job. They they friends and family turn turn against them, but you know what? God bless them. And he's going to bless me and he's going to bless you if people turn do you any kind of way. God said he will prepare a table before your enemies. Let me read that again. Psalms 23 and 5. Though, though prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy thou anointed my head with oil my cup running over that's what it says right there he gonna prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy God is going to take care of us. I ask God every day, keep taking care of me, keep favoring me, protect me from evil and harm, and get those that do me wrong, Lord, keep praying for them and bless them. You know what? I've been praying this for my enemies. And the Bible say, overcome, overcome evil with good. And I've been praying for my enemies, those that turn their back against me, because you know what? God's still going to favor me. At the end of the day, I got God got me and I got myself. And God going to bless me and he going to bless you. At the end of the day, God going to keep taking care of us and God going to shine his light on us in dark places. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and God going to keep shining his light on us in front of and before those who do us wrong, God shining his light on me every day. And I thank the Lord for waking me up and blessing me with my health and strength every day. Sometimes I, I feel sick. Sometimes I feel low. I have headaches real bad. But you know what? I go to God and pray to him. I can't tell everybody how I'm feeling all the time because they'll be against you. They'll have 
different opinions about what are you going through. You can't tell your friends everything what you're going through. I go to God and pray. I pray and ask God to help me get through how I'm feeling to get me up. And I thank God for keep getting me up. And that is my testimony on today. Happy Saturday, everyone. God is with you. He will never leave you or nor forsake you. You can get back up. The righteous man fall down. The righteous man, the man fall down seven times and he got back up again. And if God, if they did Jesus wrong. And he did he they did God wrong and they'll do you wrong. But guess what? God is still in our heart and God get us right back up again and keep us strong. God is our strength and battle. He keeping us strong to see another day. God is keeping me. He's keeping you strong. So don't give up. And I'm not going to give up. We can't make, cannot make it. Don't, did nobody tell us the road was going to be easy? That's what I've been uh, listening to. I can't give up now. We can't turn around. God didn't bring us this far to leave us. And I want to say to someone that's feeling down and out, get yourself up and keep fighting, keep moving forward god is our strength god is our comforter god is, is our help in times of trouble we got to get back up again and keep fighting a good fight of faith so just to make it to see another day and thank the lord that you are still here and keep going we got to keep fighting we got to keep pushing to see another day greater god is favoring us in this season God is taking care of us in this season. God is faithful. God is good. God been good to me. I have skin disease. I get sick. I, I fight with depression. But God is blessing me to encourage someone to keep getting up. You can make it. God is encouraging me. He is strengthening me. And every day I get up. And I don't feel like it because God's getting me up and get me going. And I thank God for it. He's been there with nobody else there. When I don't feel feel like my hope is low, there's still hope in God. There's still hope in God. We could get up, we could live, we could keep moving forward. There's still hope. When you feel hopeless, God is our hope. God is still in charge. God's still in control of our life. And what we're going through in this season, God will favor you. The Bible said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37 and 4. Read that scripture. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. No matter what we're going through, we still blessed. I'm too blessed to be stressed. We still bless. I just keep thanking the Lord. Thank you. I'm thankful for this season that I'm still here. No matter what we're going through in our lives and going through in this world, I told the Lord, thank you for being my keeper of my soul. I tell him that all the time. And I told the Lord, thank you for not letting me stay down. I got to keep getting up. And you could get up too. If they did Jesus wrong, you can get up too. God get, gets up every day. He gets us up every day. The battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. We got to keep moving forward. So get yourself up and keep fighting the good fight of faith. Better days are coming. Greater is coming. God is good. God is always faithful. And we got to keep trusting the Lord with all our heart and lean not to his own understanding in all his ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path that's proverbs 3 5 and 6 we got getting your word for yourself to strengthen yourself get in your word when you down get in your word the word is medicine for your soul 
This is what's going to help you keep going, keep fighting. I hold the word to my heart. I cry to God and ask God to come for me. When I feel a note lately, I've been asking God to come for me in his word. And he's been sending me the Psalms 23 for comfort. He said, yea, though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. When you're going through, God's God's word is going to comfort you. You can't go to nobody else but the word of God. This is, the word of God is our healing, our medicine for our soul. If you don't have a Bible, go get you one. In a prayer journal book. Make your own journal book. I'm making my own journal book. I have prayer journal books. I have my prayer list. I've been praying for my enemies. Because Joy Overstein said, your enemies going to come back to bless you. Then he said, God going to pay us back for our double trouble. For God going to give us double for our trouble. God's going to pay us back. So God didn't bring you this far to leave you. So get up. Dust yourself off. I hope this helped you today. It helped me. Because I've been up cleaning. Drinking my water this morning. Taking my, um, my vitamins. My water. Drinking hot cocoa. Drinking tea. I've um, been drinking orange juice. Water. Drinking hot liquids. And taking my vitamins and praying and crying out to God and reading my word. This morning, I turned my phone off when I'm reading my Bible. Someone told me to turn my phone off. And I did this morning. And I got in my words. If you're feeling low, turn your phone off and pray to God. God sees and hears everything. Get in your words. Our word is there to help us. Sometimes we turn our backs on God. We run from God. But at the end, God is God is still there waiting on us. God is waiting on us to come to him in his word. So I hope this has been a blessing to you. Get up from where, where how are you feeling. Get up from there. Get a shower, bath. Drink your water, take your medicine, eat. We all go through some things. We got to keep getting back up again and ask God to help us to make it. I ask him to help me to make it every day. My skin was bothering me today. I got out my cream and I got out my word of God. And I asked God to heal my body to keep restoring me, my health, my life, and strength. And I feel a little better today. I've been down off and on this week. But God is there with me. Help me get through it. And God will help you to get through what you're going through. So get up on where you are today. Enjoy your life. Choose life. Better is coming. Choose life. And I hope this helps someone get up. From where you are, there's more to come out of life. I've been down. I lost my sisters, my loved ones. They always there to encourage me. And I thank God I have real family that my brother been there for me. Different ones been there for me, calling me, checking on me, seeing how I'm doing daily. And I told God this morning, bless them. Let those that have been there for me calling and checking on me. God bless them. And God bless my enemies that hurt me so bad. Even them, them the ones be the closest one you love that hurt you so bad. And they don't know how you make them feel every day. That's why I why I keep my distance away from those that hurt me or make fun of me or talk bad about me or try to treat me any type of way 
I pray for them. They hurts me, but I pray for my love, my loved ones that hurts me, and my friends that hurts me. And like my brother said, you can't let them see you fall or sweat. We gotta get up and stay in our word of God and build our own self-esteem up and pick our feelings up and ask God to help you on the way. God didn't bring us this far to leave you. God bring us from the mighty. He brought me, he brought you from a mighty, mighty long way. And I just told God, thank you this morning. I told the Lord, thank you this morning for keeping me in this season. I told the Lord, thank you for keeping me. Those who hurt me, I said, thank you, Lord. Keep healing me from my pain and hurt. I said, thank you, Lord, for keep favoring me and blessing me when I'm going through and getting me through. And what you're going through, God will get you through it. He get, God didn't bring you this far to leave you. So get yourself up again and keep moving forward in God and stay strong in God. You guys be blessed. I hope this helped you today and be encouraged stay strong in God if you're feeling down and out listen to some good music and read your bible or go pray or go treat yourself and just enjoy your life with your family and friends while you can because life is too short to be keep being down and out so I hope you guys like this video be blessed